Hey gang, this is Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. We're here in Conway, South Carolina, uh, in our garage. We thank God for another day. It's Monday, it's a beautiful day outside. And uh, we just want to bring you some updates. Um, when we was at the Mustang Stampede show for 2019 uh, at Broadway at the Beach in front of Dave and Buster's, uh, while we were out there, that was hosted by Carolina Coastal Mustang Club. While we were out there, we noticed that um, my supercharger serpentine belt had a rip in it. So um, after the show, I kind of, well, I, I thought I was going to milk the car home, but I, I drove my normal way. I should have babied a little bit more, but we made it home and we kept the car here in the garage and we went online to try and find a Vortex supercharger belt and we had some difficulty finding and trying to locate that belt. So Elizabeth, which you see behind me in the background, um, she's been sitting there um, for a couple of weeks now. Uh, the Monday after the Stampede show, which was on Saturday, so that following Monday, we went online to a place called FR Motorsports, and they were in California, and they showed online that they had the Vortex supercharger belt that I needed that was um, approximately 113 inches, or 112.89 if you want to be exact. And they said they had it in stock, so I ordered it online, and they said it would be 24 to 48 hours before they process it. And so um, Wednesday, when I didn't get a confirmation email that it was shipped, I called them, and all of a sudden, they didn't have the item. They said they sold so many supercharger belts, they flew off the shelf. And I called them and they said they had it there and it was in stock and ordered it. So I gave them one day, that Wednesday, to get back with me Thursday to see if they can get in touch with Vortec to see if they can find a supercharger belt and ship it to me. And uh, Thursday I heard nothing from him. So they got an answer machine that texts you. So I text them to refund my money and which they got a hold of me by text and said they were refunding money in my account. And it took until Tuesday of last week for them to refund the money back in my account. So then I found Ford Performance in Florida online. They said they had supercharger belts. So I called down there and they didn't have any supercharger belts for the 99 uh, SVT Cobra. And that's important. When you guys are having these superchargers, you have to make sure you get the right belt because um, they can send you a, a supercharger belt that's for a GT, which are two valves. And there's a big difference between that and the Cobra. Those are four valves, much more horsepower. So, um, they said that they didn't have it in stock and a lot of times when they ship out these belts they end up being the wrong size so he says uh, you don't need to order from us or anywhere online he says to look at the belt and on the belt it'll show a number and that part number you can go to any auto store any auto parts store and they can cross reference that and probably get you a good year belt or another good quality belt uh, that they have right there in the store that is American made. And so I thanked him for that information and I took my belt off and my belt number was 6PK2845. And that was a uh, 112.89 inches. And the six stands for six ribs so um i went to o'reilly's and they had the o'reilly brand belt 
that they stock in store and they said they can order the Gates belt. The Gates belt was probably just about maybe $10 more. But um, I looked at the O'Reilly's brand and it was just fine. And so I spent a couple of days uh, putting a supercharger belt on because uh, there is nothing online, no information whatsoever to show you um, how to change the serpentine belt for a 99 SVT for Cobra. You can't go off of Mach 1s or GTs. You can't go off of the 0304 Cobras because the 0304 Cobras have the supercharger on top of the intake. Mines is a modified Cobra. So we purchased the Vortec 3 supercharger. So there was no information online whatsoever as far as belt routing and how to change it. So me being mechanically inclined, I, you know, figured it out myself. And, you know, you take pictures of how the belt is routed and everything. But still, there's some questions as to how the belt is routed and how do you get it in because I was able to take the belt out without taking any accessories loose. And so I thought I could install the belt without taking any accessories out. So we'll be right back in a moment and we'll show you the belt and we'll show you uh, the new belt that's in there. Okay, so this is the old belt, and right there on the belt, if you would put the car in neutral and put blocks on it, chalk the wheels, you can get a wrench on the crankshaft bolt and turn the uh, crankshaft until the belt turns around and shows you what the number is. So that's 6 PK. 2845 and this happens to be um, a belt called Deco it's a Deco belt and um, I believe it's almost the same brand as they called uh, Bendo but I want you to look at something these grooves indicate the ribs and if you notice when I count them there's one, two, three, four, five ribs. This belt is only five ribs. And it's only five ribs for a reason. I didn't know it, but this belt was in worse shape than I figured. Now, when I was cleaning my engine at the car show, this is what I found see the rip and the tear but then when I looked around the outside of the belt all the way around you could see that a rib was completely torn off so this was actually a five rib after it ripped one of the ribs off and then it started to rip another 
rib off and you can see some grooves going all the way down so this belt uh, surprisingly held up pretty well as bad as that belt is you can see where it was where it's ripped off and it was just going all the way around the belt so now we'll show you what the new belt looks like on electric bit so there's the new belt and uh, you can see it fully covers the alternator and then the supercharger uh, pulleys there and down the bottom there's the power steering there's the water pump right there and down the bottom is the crank and on the underside of the other side will be the air conditioning compressor now I made a chart here of belt routing for a 99 Cobra SVT Cobra okay now I don't know how well this is focusing in but this is the supercharger this is the alternator belt this is the idler pulley okay this is the water pump this is the power steering pump this is the crankshaft I know this should be lined up underneath here excuse my drawing this is the tensioner pulley this is my AC compressor and this is the factory idle now you can use common sense when routing a belt wherever there's no gears where the belt the ribs actually ride on like any idler gears tensioners or uh, factory idle there'll be nothing for the belt ribs to go on to so that means the smooth side of the belt this this right here the smooth side of the belt is always going to go around any idler tension gear or the factory idler gear so it's going to wrap around like that the smooth side of the belt now the rib side of the belt is always going to go over gears the supercharger gear the alternator gear the power steering pulley the crank pulley the air compressor now the water pump although it is operated and is considered sort of a, a pulley that also has no ribs to ride on so it's going to be on the smooth side to turn that now i'm going to try and describe uh the nature of how you change a supercharger belt now you can get the belt out by simply the alternator or should I excuse me should I say the water pump pulley you want to get a screwdriver and go underneath to where the tensioner pulley is a nice a nice long screwdriver and push down on that and you want to take the belt off of the water pump right here and pull that off and then that will give you room and play to pull the belt off of all the accessories and then down underneath the compressor belt you will have to pull that out uh, loop it out in between the pulley tensioner and then when you get up here by the alternator there's barely enough room to squeeze the belt through there so there's a bolt I don't know if I can show you that that well but uh, right under here there is a bolt one bolt for the alternator down there 
Then, on the back side of the supercharger, which is hard to show you, there's a bolt on the back side of the supercharger where the pulley is. You loosen that bolt up. Of course, you want to disconnect your battery and you want to disconnect any power from the alternator. Then there's these four screws that hold this bracket on top. Then you can take the alternator and pull it over to the side. And that'll give you enough room to get the belt out. Or you can pull the alternator out completely, which I did. I pulled the alternator out since I had it loose. Then when you want to put the belt in, what you have to do is you take and you loop the belt like this. And where the supercharger is, you see how it goes over the top of the supercharger and it goes underneath the idler gear and it goes over top of the alternator. Now, you cannot loop this like this over this alternator, I mean over the idler gear because there are things that are in the way. So you would have to take this, slip it down and pull it underneath and walk it around with your fingers and you can do this with the alternator out of the way and then that way you would have the loop that you need like this and you'll see the smooth part underneath the alternator and then you will have that split which this side would run the, the uh, supercharger and then this other side goes down like that and that will run the alternator and then from that point you run the alt you run the belt down around the power steering belt you want to leave the water pump off because this is how you're going to get your slack to go under the crank then again the supercharger pulley has things in the way. So you would have to take the belt and loop it again like this and loop it through. There's a hole you loop it right through, through the supercharger that it actually comes out. And again, you're gonna be going like this. The smooth part is going to be going over the top, okay? And because it's it's actually looping itself, when you pull it through, that part is gonna be like this, okay? And then you would take this, and then you can pull the excess through and loop it around the, um, Alter, or should I say the air conditioning compressor and then it just goes up through the idler then once you got the belt routed like that then you want to go and take your screwdriver and put it in through the, the tensioner and pull down on it and then you can pull the belt up over the water pump and then once you get it over there you want to make your adjustments to make sure the belt is nice and centered. And so that is how you do the supercharger belt on a 99 SVT uh, Cobra. And so the belt looks good. We haven't done our uh, startup yet, our cold start, but because the weather was uh, rainy Saturday and it was little too cloudy and rainy like yesterday so today we'll actually do our uh cold start and see how she runs make sure everything is nice and smooth in here now here's the belt that i got from o'reilly's it's called a master pro okay and that's the number k061112 Okay, and 
So that's the number they cross-referenced it with. And when I brought the belt home, I matched it up to my belt and it was the same length. And as you can see, she fits with, with no problem. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys um, on a 99 SVT Cobra. And I'm sorry I didn't get the chance to record and show how it's actually done. But I believe through my little uh, pathetic drawing <laughs> that you get the idea. And I hope this information is very helpful uh, to all you guys that are out there that are looking for supercharger belts and don't want to have to wait two and three weeks, sometimes a month for a belt when you can go to any auto parts store and just give them the belt number and they'll cross-reference it and you can get any belt that you want from them. They can order one in one to two days. It won't take, you know, two weeks to get it in and you're dealing with someone here local. And um, that belt's American made. Like I said, it's very good quality. The belt was only $26, and they said I could get the Gates belt if I want. The Gates belts was just $30, so it was no difference. But the difference is is that um, it would have took one day to get the Gates belt, and I wanted to make a couple of shows, but the rain washed us out anyway. We didn't get to go to any shows. We didn't get to go to a Coastal Carolina Mustang Club meet at Sonic in North Myrtle Beach yesterday because... Um, the roads were still wet, and we don't like to take her out in, in climate weather. All right, guys, that was it. We hope to bring you some future content um, in the weeks to come. There are a few more car shows and gatherings and cruisings together. We'll get some videos and pictures of it. As always, God bless you guys. We love you. We hope to see you out there with those Mustangs. And also, 31 is going to be opening South Carolina 31 is going to be opening sometime in November and I want to get together with all the Mustang owners so if you're listening if you live in Horry County or surrounding counties um, stay in touch with the channel I'm gonna be posting when this is opening we want to have a cruise on the new 31 and take it all the way down to where it drops us off in 707 uh, down near Soccer Steve Merle's Inlet. It should be a beautiful, smooth highway, and maybe we can find a place to have uh, an afternoon lunch, and then we'll come back and cruise 31. So all you Mustang owners, get together, talk to your pals, talk to your friends. Let's cruise the new Highway 31 opening next month. This is Rev. We're Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions, and we will be letting you the exact you know the exact date that it's going to be opening and so we want to try to put that event on a saturday so that if the bridge opens up on a wednesday we'll be doing it on a saturday doing an inaugural ride mustangs taking over 31 we will be respectful and abiding by the laws just mustang owners having fun all right god bless you guys have a wonderful week